Hello, Kulas. Welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barca. In this episode, we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We start with this transfer news talking about Liverpool forward Sadio Mane. It has been reported that the, the, the forward himself is interested in playing for Barcelona in the summer. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Secondly, we are going to be talking about Felipe Coutinho. Of course, it has been reported that Barcelona are thinking about selling Coutinho to Aston Villa for the reported 20 million that Aston Villa have been pleading for. We are going to be discussing on that as well. Thirdly, talking about Pablo Gavi, it has been reported that Barcelona will present a final renewal offer for the midfielder this week. We are going to be looking at that as well. So guys, as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. With Barcelona's search for a new forward continuing, a new name has popped up in the media as a target for the club. Liverpool superstar Sadio Mane will be entering the final year of his contract at the end of the season and with talks of a renewal yet to take place, Barca are keeping close tabs on the situation as they eye a swoop for the Senegalese superstar. The 30 year old has been with the Reds since 2016 and has been a key cock in Jurgen Klopp's side and the success they have achieved over the years. However, his contract situation has cast doubt on his future. Barcelona for Japan are seeking a new prolific um, forward to lead their project under Javi Hernandez. Erling Haaland had been their primary target, but the Borussia Dortmund ace is set to complete a move to Manchester City this week. Robert Lewandowski is another name that Barca have considered, but Bayern Munich are playing hardball and are reluctant to let him leave, forcing Javi and Cole to look at Mane as an option. As per Mono Deportivo, the 30-year-old Liverpool superstar is open to joining Barcelona in the summer. The report states that the former Southampton and Red Bull Salzburg forward believe that you know he would stand a greater chance of winning the Ballon d'Or if he played in Barca and is thus keen on a move. It is further said that Mane has a dream of playing in La Liga with a special preference for Barcelona. The 30-year-old who led Senegal to the Africa Cup of Nations triumph earlier this year is currently focused on ending the season with Liverpool. The Reds are in the finals of the FA Cup and the UEFA Champions League while battling Man City for the Premier League title, having already won the Carabao Cup this season. Liverpool have a shot at winning the unprecedented quadruple. Should they go on to do that, Mane would be in the running for the Ballon d'Or. However, as per the report, the forward is open to joining Barca and it remains to be seen how things pan out in the summer. A lot of rumors about Sadio Mane to Barca have popped up these days and personally I think he's, he's a good player. But will it materialize? I very much doubt. You know, it's going to be it's gonna be tricky because can Barca, can Barca pay him the wages that he demands? That's a problem. And I think it will be a good move if Barca can materialize it. But from the look of things, we are broke. I don't think we can pay Mane's wages. But all still possible. Let's see if Barca can go ahead to signing. There have also been reports of Bayern Munich showing interest in Sadio Mane. And with Bayern having that financial muscle than Barcelona, I think they are the likeliest to landing if in case Mane wants to leave Liverpool. So let's see. But um, with this report claiming that Mane is interested in playing for La Liga in Barca to be specific, then I think it's a big boost for Barcelona if they can if they can go all out to bring him. Because Mane's contract with Liverpool ends at the end of next season. And of course Liverpool will not be you know they will not be interested in letting him go for free and that could just play a key part in the decision when it comes to Mane's future this summer so fingers crossed let's see what happens when it comes to the Mane saga if he comes to Barca I think it'll be a great move for us Mane is a quality player we have been seeing his his his, his talents in the Premier League and of course Let's see what happens, but I very much doubt if Barca can match the financial demands that Bayern could also bring forth. Then on to the next story of discussion. According to a recent report published by Mundo Deportivo, Barcelona are about to close the sale of Felipe Coutinho to Aston Villa for 20 million euros. Coutinho moved to Aston Villa in the winter on a six-month loan deal that included a 40 million euro buyout option. 
However, the price tag has been deemed too high by the Premier League club due to the urgent need to raise money through player sales, though Barcelona's hands have been forced into selling the Brazilian for 20 million. There is also pressure from Aston Villa manager Stephen Gerrard, who has publicly spoken about his desire to keep Coutinho at the club after the loan deal ends. He has scored four goals and assisted three in 15 games, but is currently without any contributions in the last seven games. We want Coutinho here, Stephen Gerrard said in a recent press conference. A 20 million euro boost in all through his sale will give Barca the ammunition to complete signings in the summer. And our line to bring in nearly seven or eight players has been laid, but the transfer targets are still a blur. This should be uh, uh, along the summer for the Camino faithful. So as it stands, Coutinho is likely to stay in the Premier League, you know, beyond the season. Even though Barcelona have been insisting about uh, 14 million euros, because we can't remember when Coutinho went on loan, you know, that buyout option was 40 million euros, you know. But Aston Villa for Japan, they are saying that they won't be able to reach, they won't be able to match that price, that figure. And they have been pleading somehow to negotiate with Barcelona if they can reduce that amount to just for um, just 20 million euros. And uh, of course, how desperate have we been lately? Barca have been so desperate. And I think it's not surprising seeing this report saying that they are considering going after the 20 million price tag that uh, Aston Villa have been negotiating or begging or pleading, let me say so. And better than nothing, because... Barca don't want Coutinho to return and him staying there and for us receiving whatever that we have received will still be a good thing. But I think Barcelona can still just be patient because we've been hearing some reports about Newcastle United showing a lot of interest. And given the fact that Newcastle are financially strong than Aston Villa, then Newcastle can pay all that 40 million, which I prefer Barca should go for that sale for 40 million because we need money we really need finance to to, to also facilitate other transfer um, projects that we have ahead of us let's see how things unfold when it comes to felipe coutinho's destination for next season then on to the final story of discussion a recent report from goal has revealed that barcelona will put forward a firm offer for gavi this week with which they hope to convince the young midfielder to put pen to fresh deal Talks between Barcelona and Gavi's representative have failed so far as the midfielder is said to be unhappy with the terms presented by the team. The team has been working on an extension since January, but all those efforts have been snubbed to date. However, it is believed that Barcelona finally have a breakthrough and the player who too is keen on continuing will sign a new contract until 2026 with a buyout clause of 1 billion euros. Hindrance in establishing a middle ground mainly occurred due to the player's salary demands and the root cause of all issue was believed to be Barcelona's recent movements in the transfer market. Milan midfielder Franchisi will arrive on a free transfer at the end of the season and a 25-year-old will receive a significant boost on the wages that he currently pockets in Italy. Now, Gavi's current request is certainly not unreasonable, but he wants to be in the line you know, of those who have recently signed extensions. This includes the likes of Pedri, Anso Fati and Araujo. The 17 year old shares a great relationship with Xavi, and even the manager sees him as someone who can help the team get back to their usual standards. On top of that, sporting director Matteo Alemani also commented on the speculation and confirmed that it's not just Barca, but even the player wants to continue. He said, Gavi wants to stay. We have been negotiating between the two parties for some time so that he can spend many years at Barca, he said. As of today, it is said that the negotiations are in the final stage and everyone involved hopes to get a solution soon. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please endeavor to do so. So you always stay in touch with the latest NFC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye-bye.